Good evening and welcome to the I League. The table toppers, uh, Mohammedan Sporting, are ready once again to maintain their good run. And they are up against Churchill Brothers, who are here with confidence after three back to back wins. It is an away match for the Red Machines, but they believe that they belong in a better position. This is the dressing room of the home side. Mohammedan Sporting, uh, led by Andre Chernyshov, their head coach. We had a word with him before the game, and we'll shortly hear out uh, from him about his plans. Uh, they have played 18, 12 wins in their bag, and 5 draws. Uh, the arrival of uh, the home side here, uh, Mohammedan Sporting, will be looking to maintain uh, their records, uh, moving into the final lap of the I-League. Uh, dream is... Uh, Alive and then returning shop will soon let us know his plans to walk towards the situation. It. We are first, and uh, many teams uh, uh, want to come uh, near to us. Uh, and last uh, few matches, they uh, they won, they have now good uh, feeling, and they don't have uh, pressure because they are, cannot be first, they cannot be uh, last. They enjoy uh, to play only uh, football uh, without uh, too much uh, pressure. About that, we expect uh, today a tough uh, match, but uh, we want to win this uh, match. Uh, we know how to win this uh, match. We want to continue to be first on the uh, uh, table we want to be first in this uh, championship and with this we move our attention to the away side the mighty churchill brothers who are high on their confidence with back-to-back -back wins coming on their way here we are with the dressing room of the reds of churchill brothers the guani side who are already coming with a hat trick of wins which was missing in their last few games and with this, we will want to sh see if they can make a disappointment on the face of Mohammedan and their fans today in the Naihati Stadium of Kolkata. And this is the arrival of the team Mohammedan Churchill Brothers on your screen. The players are coming out. They are high on confidence, as we said. And Mr. Francis Bonnet Caroncho was with us to share his thoughts. He came in a good streak with these last three wins that we achieved. But it's true that, of course, Mohamedan have a better streak as they only lost one match. They are playing at home. It will be difficult for us, but I think that we will make them also struggle. And I think that we can achieve a good result from, from here. Well, I think that all, all their players are playing good. That's why they are on top. It's not easy to to achieve what they are achieving, but of course they have good foreigners, but also they have good Indians. We will, we will try to, to play better than them and I th we are confident to achieve the three points. The one word coming up time and again about this Churchill Brothers side is confidence and so is mentioned by Francis Bonnet. But Mohammedan Sporting and their lethal attacking force and their solid defence will look to continue their momentum moving forward. They are unbeaten in six matches. Their only loss came six matches ago against Real Kashmir. But now, focus back on track. There's the lineup with Padam Chetri on goal. Jasim Irshad, Joseph and Radinga in the back line. Alexis Comis, Kasimov and David Amar in the midfield with Bikash, Eddie Hernandez and Rem Sangha up front. The movement and coordination is so crucial to this team with me in the com box, uh, Shanta Dutto, welcome. Yeah, very happy to be here on the ground. Our great match indeed. It's a match number 123 between Mohammedan Sporting Club and Churchill Brothers from the Goa. And the team in red, Churchill, as we can see on the pitch, they are all set with their starting lineup as well. With their goalkeeper on on the field, it's Shubashi Shiroi Choudhury, Ralte, Aubin, Nishkal and Sebastian there in the defensive duties with Rahul Richard and Stanley in the midst and Kofi Essen, Kareem and Martin on the up front. They will be up and with this comes the official referees for this match with Williams Joy Koshi, 
the main referee who will be assisted by assistant referee Parameshwar Gop, Christopher, Claudius Peter and Ashish Tiwari. And the points table right now, Mohammedan, they're on top, still leading the race. Uh, Churchill had a climb, uh, they have come to seventh position. Of course, uh, the title is far from uh, their reach, uh, but they can still finish in a much better position. The two-time champions of the I-League, uh, they want to keep their name alive on that top charts. Uh, but the Mohammedan faithful, uh, wherever their match is, uh, whenever... Uh, no matter what time it is, uh, they have turned up in the stands, uh, uh, vocal about their team and always uh, backing them. They do not like any sort of uh, nonsensical performances on pitch. They want Mohammedan to every time throughout the game, throughout the season, be at their very best. And the fans on the screen, they are back. This is the support unit that Mohammedan enhances their performance. And on the screen, we can see both the teams coming out of the tunnel. And we are all set for an excellent match ahead of us. In the blacks, Mohammedan Sporting, and in the reds, there's the mighty Churchill brothers. They're going with their lineup over there on the middle of the pitch. Well, and uh, the two sides uh, are led by Zorin Liana and Martin Chavez, uh, two different quality players, uh, one providing uh, that solidity in the left channel along with some attacking flair, but the Urukian, what about his quality? Martin Chavez uh, has proved himself over the years uh, in Indian football now. Absolutely, but the fight will be mainly between the two brains, it's Andrei Chernyshov and Bonnet Karuncho. As we are already said and we have seen that how these teams have got their form back. Mohammedan Sporting on one hand they have got four wins in their last five matches. On the other hand it's Churchill Brothers with hat-trick of wins after a couple of losses that they have faced in the second phase. Both the teams hurling out for some final minute plans to be exchanged between the players and the referee and the captains. They are set to decide the kickoff. And of course, all eyes will be on Eddie Hernandez, uh, the goal machine for Mohammedan Sporting. And the rising sensation, uh, David Lalansanga. Every other team wants him. But Mohammedan, uh, they are so willing to keep him with them and move forward into the Indian Super League. Absolutely. There's all already a battle has begun between the clubs of ISL and I League for taking the service of David in the upcoming season since he has proved his ability in the Calcutta Football League and Durant Cup especially. So all our eyes will be on him. The players, the clubs are already scouting an emerging talent like David and why not? He has so much potential to bring the best out from his team. And in this Churchill side, uh, there are a few names, some experience uh, in the back line, especially under their goal, Shubhashi Shura Chaudhary, over 20 years now in the Indian football circuit. He is still at his uh, very best performing for his team. But another youngster to watch out for has really impressed me in the last few outings is Stanley Fernandez, the number seven for Churchill. Scored a few goals uh, and very interesting the way he approaches his mentality the aggressive mindset which he brings on as an attacking player. And we are all set for the kickoff. Just waiting for the final whistle from the referee. And the referee is going to blow the whistle at any point of time and it will be a signal for the start of a promising exhilarating match which will come ahead of us the players will take to the pitch with determination in their eyes ready to give their all for their team and it will be the beginning of a exhilarating exciting and thrashing match
Well, indeed. And the plans are set. Time for execution. Uh, Churchill brothers uh, away from home against the table toppers, uh, Mohammedan Sporting. And Rahul Raju straight away trying to create something uh, for Churchill. And be clearance from Padam Chetri. David. Alexis Gomez, the midfield, is uh, very unique uh, in its approach from Mohammedan. They have Casimov who plays the defensive role. Uh, Alexis Sanchez who plays the attacking midfield role, but then there's David who is more of a link man But then drops down to play the third midfielder in the 4-3-3 formation And early pressure a throw in for Mohammedan in an advanced position A nice pressure coming on from the beginning of the match from the right back of Mohammedan. It's Jaseem on the pitch and it seems like Mohammedan they will now try to dictate the middle third of these region from where Churchill brothers can face some difficulties in the early minutes of the game and that's the main motive of Mohammedan meanwhile in the middle that man on your screen Kashimov to the right Ilshad with lot of experience goes to the left looking for options to the line left again an excellent pass forward can he put it in moves into the box but wasted Churchill brothers on their duty the defensive unit have worked really well well just uh, overdid uh, that bit uh, Bikash was in a good position meanwhile oh that can be dangerous uh, so well, the flag has uh, gone in favor of Churchill from the assistant referee and he'll be lucky to go off with the yellow here. I believe it was up to Kareem, the last man forward. Or was it for offside? There's still a bit of discussions going on. It wasn't really offside, but uh, that is a lucky escape. Yes, that it is. I think the referee will surely go and ask the assistant referee for an assistance on these jurisdiction and what will be the result well, it is uh, for Irshad uh, and that the confusion was uh, Irshad was uh, there uh, stopping the run of up to Kareem uh, so very dangerous got two goals in his previous game has been so often in goal scoring positions throughout the season but either luck or his goal scoring boots were missing but he finally has got some confidence and Kareem what a run he has taken in the early times early minutes of the game Irshad the only thing he could have done he has done it but I will say that it's really a lucky escape because it could have been a raid as well but still it's the early minutes of the game and that's why maybe the referee has decided to be settled in with an yellow only. Meanwhile, Churchill brothers have got a great opportunity to take the lead within the first four minutes rather. Padam setting up his wall and this man on your screen, Mr. Francis Bonnet, directing his players and our eyes will be on who will take it. Martin Chavez, it seems. Uh, well, or maybe a different route. It is indeed, and Padam Chetri, and the second attempt uh, somehow doesn't go in. And Mohammedan are having that champion's luck at the moment with them. But what a bright chance for Churchill. An excellent attempt taken from the left to the goalkeeper's left as well. And that was an excellent setup for Kareem as well, which came in. Oh, what a save from Padam. Goes to his left with both the hands. An excellent save. Early escape for Mohammedan. But still, the pressure is piling up on their box. Churchill putting pressure. But he will guide the ball away for the first goal kick of the match in favor of Mohammedan's sporting club. A bit of sigh of relief after a 
exciting couple of minutes on the box of Mohammedan. Well, that's a giveaway and not something they would have wanted but then wasted by uh, Richard Costa. And now Kasimov uh, has it. Uh, they are unbeaten in six matches uh, but at the same time they do not have a clean sheet in the last three. Uh, that will be a bit of a concern and not too much. But yes, uh, they can pressure from up the Kareem and uh, Padam Chetri is forced uh, to make uh, that error. And now Sorin Liana from the left channel. He's been a so silent uh, a performer. And a good block by Kasimov on Stanley. And the battle in the middle is still going on. We still don't know which team will dictate the game because it's a 50-50 going on. And in football, it's pretty oh, a mispass. Meanwhile, from the Mohammedan side, it's Shad. Another mispass happening one after another this time well intercepted goes to the left looking for options will he go in yes he has passed two but could not surpass the third one and the referee blows the whistle in favor of Mohammedan Vikash doing his duties a very physical side Churchill has been lately he loves to go on those uh, tackles uh, to stick out uh, the opponent players with a good pass through towards David. He wasn't expecting that. Otherwise, 9 out of 10 times you would see David controlling uh, those kind of passes, the 50-50 ones. Uh, and uh, Allison, along with uh, Andrew Chernichov, of the Mines on the bench, uh, are working. Pindupish was uh, there as well, the team manager. Shubashish. Uh, with a long kick, very familiar with these grounds around in uh, Kolkata. And as we were talking about Shubhashish Roy Choudhury, a veteran goalkeeper from Bengal, what a career he have. Maybe he's on his last few years now, but his experience matters a lot. Previously, we have seen for Churchill goalkeepers like Shilton Paul as well. But his experience, Shubhashish Rai Choudhury, this has brought a mighty expectations in the back line of Churchill Brothers. Meanwhile, there was an easy chance, but Churchill Brothers have shown some good composure. Well, but look at that press from Eddie Hernandez. As soon as he lost the ball, it was a missed pass. He tried to find David. And now Abdul Karim, the strikers today for both teams are very interested. And Churchill are winning those second balls. Those clearances are falling to red shirts. Uh, here's another battle. And a free kick in favor of Churchill Brothers. And excellent ball controlling coming from the captain of the side. Martin showing his experience, his class. And he have got a good opportunity of free kick to be taken from a great place, a good cross in, and maybe, you don't know, Churchill Brothers may go up at the moment. Martin, setting up his players. Puts it in, but headed away by Mohammedan defenders. But still, the pressure is there, trying to move in, in the feeds of Churchill. Can he take the shot? Yes, he has, and it's in. Excellent goal from Churchill Brothers. It's Stanley. What a way. What a shot. A sensational strike to be taken from that young guy in jersey number seven. And it puts Churchill Brothers up on the lead. Warned you. Warned you about this lad. Stanley Fernandez. Uh, give him that space. Uh, he has uh, that eye for goal. So easy right now for Churchill. All those second balls, the deflections falling for them. And Irshad, they're committing too early in that challenge. All he needed to do was find the bottom corner. Stanley, and no mistake from him. A good first touch to take it away from Irshad. 
but he had to maintain his nerves till the last moment. You cannot uh, go for a final challenge at that moment. An excellent strike coming from that man, Stanley Fernandez. Goes to the extreme right of Padam, and Padam couldn't do anything. But the way he surpassed Irshad was really awesome. What's your say on this, Vasha? Well, of course, uh, credits to the young lad, Stanley. But at the same time, Muhammadan, right now, they have to be careful. And sometimes you cannot be overconfident. And once again, it was a, almost a gift towards uh, Abdul Karim. But the way Churchill uh, maintaining their shape and pressing up high, a team press together, is always uh, a much more effective. And that's what's happening with uh, uh, Churchill at the moment. That's how they're winning those uh, chances. Uh, Is, uh, of, uh, the club uh, present here as well in Kolkata has travelled all the way from Goa. We are habituated seeing him uh, at uh, the Tilak Maidan in the stands, uh, but now he's away from home as well to make sure his side knows uh, that uh, the value they hold, the players uh, understand the respect and the prestigious. Uh, Colors uh, of Churchill Brothers. Uh, Joseph uh, looking to go along. Uh, but the highlight at the 11th minute of the game, uh, Mohammedan are down by a goal at Kolkata. Yes, with the virtue of that young lad, Stanley Fernandez, an excellent sensational strike which puts Churchill Brothers on the driver's seat in this game. Just within the Tenth minute of the match, they had gone up against a mighty group or league toppers, rather, Mohammedan Sporting. And we are talking about the owner of Churchill Brothers, who is already there on the field, Sir Alemao Churchill. And how many times have we seen him helping this team since the early 2000s? With all his efforts. Meanwhile, a foul being committed by that man, Stanley, the early goal scorer. Well, Remsanga just accelerating. Uh, got the ball to be fair somewhat, but yeah, a late challenger uh, taking the man off as well from uh, an angle just behind. And here's uh, Alexis uh, Comis. Uh, the two number 10s will uh, be very key to the two teams' performances. Uh, of course, Martin Chavez for Churchill and uh, Alexis Gomez uh, for Mohammedan. And that's a clever switch from uh, Kasimov with his weaker left. And Zodin Liana, he favors his left. He has found uh, Eddie Hernandez. And now Ramsanga from the crowd. And they will win a corner. And now the fans are up on their feet. Uh, they want more of this. And why not Rem Sangha coming in with a great shot, but blocked at the right time by Churchill defenders. They did really well to block Eddie Hernandez at first, and then Rem Sangha's shot, which was coming in, brilliantly blocked. Oh, rather it seems like it has hit Eddie Hernandez only, and the corner comes in. And there's another chance which is piling up the pressure on the Churchill defense now. But there was that man, Kareem, doing, doing his defensive duties. Not only in forward, but also in the defensive unit. Kareem has helped again and again. Another cross comes in for Mohammedan. But a bit too wayward. And that will be easy for the Churchill brother's side to guard away the ball out of the box for another goal kick in favor of Churchill. They suddenly look like a different side, Churchill brothers, after those last three uh, wins uh, against uh, Niroka, Shilong Lejong and Delhi FC. And they've scored in every of those games a couple of goals, at least two against Delhi FC, two against Shilong Lejong and three goals against Niroka. Even though they have conceded one or two, but it doesn't matter. What it all matters uh, is, all that matters is you score at least a goal more than your opponents, which they have managed to do in all three games. Uh, Joseph 
All the way back to Gotham. Look at the marking from Churchill. Does well to find uh, asserting Liana. 80% ball possession for Mohammedan. It means nothing unless uh, uh, they are getting a goal back here. Uh, now Bikash. Uh, all the quality in this squad uh, to fight back. And these are testing times uh, for uh, championship contender teams. Uh, have you got enough in your squad? Here's David. He has got enough, surely. Eddie Hernandez. Uh, he might try and Alexis Gomez. A clever attempt again. And now inside the box, Eddie Hernandez. Uh, uh, did it take a deflection? It did. And another corner. Uh, better from Mohammedan. And the second shot of the game for Mohammedan Sporting coming in from Eddie Hernandez. Beautifully covered up the ball and nice piece of skills as well from him. But at the last, a slight deflection saved Churchill Brothers on this occasion. And Alexis all set for that corner kick. But nice save from the veteran Shubashi Shiroi Choudhury. Goes back to the defensive unit of Mohammedan. Trying to switch to the left. Can they control? Yes, he has big cash. Churchill Brothers. Intercepted well by Mohammedan players. But Eddie Hernandez, a oh, beautiful piece of skill. We'll have to restart uh, that piece of play, but uh, Aubin uh, stepping in the defensive zone. He's doing so well, the combination. It was steadily tracking back, I believe. Uh, they look like a well-oiled machine right now. The red machines are uh, much better. And David has been pushed a little upward. Uh, now that they need to show the urgency, even though it's early stages, just a quarter of an hour gone by, but they do not want to stay behind by a goal. Uh, they want to take uh, control, take authority, uh, get back uh, in uh, the contest. Uh, but they do not have a great record against uh, Churchill Brothers, uh, the Mohammedan uh, side. Uh, they have met uh, nine times so far and they have won only twice against uh, Churchill. Four times it's been uh, uh, Churchill Brothers uh, uh, winning. Meanwhile, from the right, Another cross comes in, but it will go out for a goal kick. Never came in, really. Always going out from the right flank. A poor technique on that uh, from Jasim. Uh, he has been promising, but not at least uh, with this cross. Exactly. Much better was needed from that lad from the right, right back position for Mohamed and Sporting. But as you were talking about the head-to-heads of these teams, in total, since 2003, they have met a total of 15 times, if we consider the I-League and the other competitions as well. And on those, on nine occasions, Churchill Brothers have won, while only in three, Mohammedan have got the opportunity to capitalize against the former. And there were three draws as well. So it's always a tough opponent, the Churchill Brothers. Free kick for Churchill with a flick. Uh, oh, and the card will come out for just him. And a few cards already flying out. Uh, Martin Chavez just outdoes uh, his opponent. And just him uh, with a clear bit of frustration uh, coming in. I'll just leave a bit of memory flashbacks after this uh, free kick uh, for Mohammedan Sporting and their fans. Uh, and of course, Churchill Brothers as well as these uh, two. The rivalry is what we are talking about, but Martin Chavez, uh, he would want his team uh, to have a cushion. Uh, not easy. And Mohammedan have it back uh, with Kasimov. Uh, a great touch to take it away. And now they can launch with pace. Uh, could have gone to the left hand side, I believe, would have been a better option. But here's Alexis Gomez, and the Churchill troops have tracked back. Uh, and now they have to try a pass and build again. And Mohamedan are showing now real intent to make a comeback on this game as they have started piling up the pressure on the back line of Churchill Brothers and why not? They have to do this. A beautiful flick from David and now, but David 
a little heavy touch and the ball was got away by the Churchill defenders. Kashimov looking for options. Well, moving back to the flashback, uh, uh, the last uh, two times, uh, and these teams uh, have uh, come here at Kolkata. Uh, rather, it has been a home game for Mohammedan Sporting. Uh, we have seen uh, red cards uh, for both the sides. Uh, and the last uh, for Mohammedan was for Sairwat Kima. Well, today almost could have been for Irshad. He's on a yellow. Two defenders on a yellow already. Irshad and uh, Jasim. And the right half uh, side of that back line is now on a yellow card for the rest of the game. Quick exchange. Uh, Jasim on the overlap. Uh, can contribute in attack. But uh, Lalrim Ruwata. He's enjoying his time in that left back position. That was a beautiful ball, but Jasim once again guided away by that man on your screen. From Churchill Brothers, another throw in comes in. Mohammedan players will guide it on their way. Ishad goes back to Joseph. Kashimov and Alexis, as we were talking about, they have to make some real intent now because the midfield are under their control and if they want to dictate the game then they have to step up and do what they are doing now they have to do much better of that an excellent ball forward ah nice clearance coming from church and brother side and just a few heated words exchanged and shubashish he is not happy with his own players because he wants uh, them to stay calm unnecessary do not go into it you made the clearance uh, was there something after that oh uh, the landing was somewhat uh, known as a calf and that is why alexis gomez had a go Nishal chandan unnecessarily stepping in shubashish not at all happy with that just letting him know that's what we like about seniors uh, in the game just uh, making sure they, their experience their knowledge counts uh, and you give that uh, to the youngsters uh, and uh, they learn uh, at the moment uh, with practical example on pitch and they grow as players uh, and these are valuable lessons uh, as uh, youngsters uh, in uh, their path to the future and Martin Chavez combining well again Churchill uh, showing glimpses uh, of quality football Abdul Karim uh, just outside the box uh, has found Martin Chavez, a good block, uh, but luck hasn't been in Mohammedan's favor so far. And nearly, nearly again coming out to be true. That clearance from the most experienced guy on the defensive line, Mr. Joseph, came off the body of Churchill Lift player. It might have gone in. Meanwhile, excellent piece of art coming from the left. He puts in, but beautifully dispossessed by the Churchill defender on from the feet. Neck to neck battle on a 1v1 situation. David with the steal and the run. And Nishal Chandan says, you're going nowhere when I'm present in this back line. And back to Kasimov. Mohammedan having that control, but they need to do a little extra. Churchill are not allowing anything through. Uh, they have also got back-to-back -back wins. Uh, a draw in between with uh, Srinidhi. Apart from that, uh, wins against Namdhavi and Gokulam scored three goals in both those matches. So coming with some goal-scoring form, Mohammedan, and they can very well get a few. And the third best attack of the league, uh, along with being the second tightest defense. Yeah, and that's rare when uh, that kind of a team, that sort of a team, concedes early. There's uh, Kasimov uh, towards uh, Jasim. He gets it back. Uh, has a magnet on, it, on his feet there. And now Alexis Gomez uh, has been allowed space, a grounded effort. Uh, wouldn't be beating Shubashish from that range uh, with uh, such an effort. The attempt was good, 
the mo motive was good. The intention was really awesome. But Shubhashish Roy Choudhury standing tall there. You can't beat a veteran like him with these kind of shots. Meanwhile, the ball has been passed back to Padam. Joseph. Kashimov in the middle. Kashimov looking for options, goes to the left. Zoding Liana passes the ball, but a bit too heavy. And Churchill will guide it away for another throw in in their favor. We have already passed the 25 minute mark on this game. And for the late tuners, Churchill brothers are up by a goal already in this match. And it was scored by that man, a screamer from Stanley Fernandez on the 10th minute of the game. Meanwhile, Mohammedan have tried a lot, but still to get a clear cut chance yet on this match. And if they want to take the opportunity to win the championship, then they surely need to do more. They need to win games. Well, of course, and they have been. And they just need to hold on. A little more remaining. Six more matches, including this very game. Even five wins take them through. But they wouldn't want to risk it with that one last moment chance. Uh, and a final day encounter. Which fans love to watch the final day uh, clashes. Where you see double headers uh, together. And... Uh, you have to wait for both the results to know who turns out to be champions. We've seen over the years, uh, but Mohammedan, uh, their team and fans would want to avoid that. They would want to make sure the trophy is theirs before they reach uh, that last day. Chasim, left-footed cross in at the far post. They were a willing runner. A few appeals for penalty, and the bench is more eager uh, than Eddie Hernandez and Co. But it seems like a, a professional foul, rather. Oh, well, Kasimov. Uh. But the final decision belongs to the referee. Meanwhile, Alexis looking for options down to the left. With Bikash. Kasimov passes the ball, but well intercepted. Meanwhile, Mohammed still on the contingent. And Alexis goes to the left, cross comes in, and a hip puts it in. That man, Eddie Hernandez, will not miss this, and it's his 10th goal of the season. Eddie Hernandez gives equalizer to Mohammedan Sporting. Poacher in the box, in the form of Eddie Hernandez, and Mohammedan are back. But that move, that build up to the move. A lapse in concentration uh, maybe in the defense but too precise uh, from uh, the left hand side towards Eddie and just between the two defenders uh, how well positioned how well does he know where to make the run and when to time that run in and the fans uh, are alive here at Nayhati and we can hear the chants coming from the Mohammedan fans and why not Eddie Hernandez dear man have gave them the comeback which was needed meanwhile Martin coming in but Irshad he misses it out and it will go out for another corner kick and much needed and that goal otherwise uh, the Churchill were really taking things on their hands uh, and very important uh, but Martin Chavez uh, has a corner kick to still help his team back on the lead. Uh, they have uh, most of the time scored two goals against Mohammed, except their last meeting, which was a nil-nil draw. But apart from that, whenever they have won, Martin Chavez uh, here he comes again. He's already got an assist in past against uh, Mohammed in Sporting a couple of seasons ago. Rahul Raju, intriguing one, but way off. Uh, the danger zone.
he could have done much better Raju on these occasion the players were there the numerical supremacy was there for Churchill as well in the box and that's the stats coming in with 81 percent ball position Mohammedan are ruling but on the score sheet it's still leveled up with one goal each between the Mohammedan and Churchill brothers Well, and Churchill will still hope uh, because in their last five uh, meetings uh, between these two sides, there has been one draw and one uh, win for Mohammedan. But the rest of the three have been wins for Churchill, but all of them being 2-1 victories. Uh, so that is one score line. They will still fancy uh, getting here. It is 1-1. One, one, long way to go in this game. 15 minutes uh, before we go to the halftime break. Uh, but before that, we can see even more changes in the score line. Silky control from Martin Chavez, but only momentarily. As Eddie Hernandez, uh, there's more of a rugby match going on there, but tell you what, uh, Eddie had a case. It was Mitchell who got a tag of his hand and a shirt too. Both of them going into it, pretty much. And this kind of opportunities will come again and again. But on the chance that Edi Hernandez capitalized, I was talking about Nishkal. He should have done much better because he was ahead of Edi Hernandez, but he missed it out. He realized it very late that Edi was there on back of him, and that made Edi look it's so easy. He puts it in with real class. Meanwhile, another attack coming in from the right side. Both Bikash and Ramsanga they are piling up the pressure one after another, again and again, from the two flanks of Mohammedan and both the side backs of Churchill. They are facing the issues. Another cross comes in. Chance! And that's it! Eddie Hernandez with his brace, giving a salute and why not? The comeback is complete and the fans are up on their feet. Well, still half an hour through this game and Mohammedan have turned it around uh, there's still a lot of work to do but the wings the flanks providing to that one man uh, machine in the box uh, who just gets them goals after goals uh, and his good form continues another brace uh, in the I league and he'll be eyeing for a third Eddie Hernandez uh, with his 11th of the season an excellent display of football coming from that man, Edi Hernandez, with his 11th goal now. Ruling on that chart for the Mohammedan Sporting Club. The fans have got something now. Meanwhile, Edi looking for his third now. Setting up the ball. Alexis goes to his right. Kashimov, they will now take their time. And as we were talking about, we just saw with 81% ball position, Mohammedan were dictating the midfield and each in every and each region. And they have practically implemented the same now on the score sheet as well. They are up against Churchill Brothers, who took the early lead on the 10th minute of the game. And now they have got two consecutive goals coming from that man, A.D. Hernandez. Well, does he smile? Not sure when he does, but maybe at the end of the league or when he has the trophy in his hand. Uh, and Chernyshov uh, really doing good work with this Mohammedan side. Of course, have to praise the entire coaching team too. But the man in charge, a uh, oh, bit risky from Ishad. But look at these little things. He could have gone straight uh, or a little different uh, route for that pass. Uh, he made sure he chose uh, the longest path, which uh, Abdul Karim had to cover. So these are the little things which matter in a game so much. Otherwise, he could have gone and pressed down the keeper. Here's his shot again. Well, a while ago, I was mentioning how Churchill loved that 2-1 score line in the last few meetings. Uh, and this is a different season. This is a different Mohammedan sporting. They wanted to answer me straight away. But, uh, well, what about now? Uh, they can uh, uh, not at least get to a 2-1 right now. As Mohammedan have taken the lead. 
Kasimov. And now they can stick to their natural plan, that urgency. Uh, it'll still be there, but just uh, submerged uh, under a skin of confidence. Alexis and looks to find David, who's missed it. Uh, it was a difficult one against Robin. And Shubhashish Rai Choudhury clears it away, showing his experience. And why not? His team, after taking a lead, they are now trailing by two goals to one against the mighty league toppers. Mohamed Al Sporting Jasim. He has been quite well in this match, but have already conceded a yellow card. And meanwhile, Kareem trying to surpass the players. That Stanley, the goal scorer. Goes back to <coughs> that man, Chandan. A nice ball forward. Can he get it? Martin. Yes, he has. Kareem took the shot, but easily blocked by the man, Joseph. And that will be a corner kick coming. Oh. No, said the referee, it seems like. We'll go with the replay, though. Or did it come off of the Kareem at the end? Interesting decision. He doesn't agree. He doesn't think he had a touch. Uh, well, there is a goal kick for Mohammedan eventually. No, that is rare. You do not see the centre back and the keeper playing two or three passes to start uh, the game from the back. Uh, inside that little box Bikash and yes Kasimov uh, just slowing down the pace of the game just controlling things uh. little bit of urgency coming now from the Churchill players but Alexis he has something else on his mind. He will not let Churchill move forward so easily. And Mohammedan are again on to the attack. Goes to the extreme left. The captain, Adinga, in the middle. Kashimov chasing. Goes to the right. Zodin. And as we are talking about Rem Sangha and Bikash, again the ball has fall on the feet. Well, Eddie Hernandez has passed it to Bikash. Uh, he has got a goal to his name in the last few matches. Uh, and uh, he tried it again. Somehow cleared. And now Jasim. Uh, they've learned their physics well and mathematics as well. Finding the longest uh, root time and again. And Mohammedan, it seems like now they are up and they are now controlling the space of the game. And why not? After a mighty comeback in the first half, the way they have utilized their pressure has shown and has been depicted so easily. Why they are now up with two goals to one of Churchill. A little bit of confusion going on in the field on whose throwing is it? Ralte goes to Martin, trying to take the take the control of the ball. Rem Sangha looking for options. Joseph Kashimov. A nice one to between the two in their own half. Trying to move forward from the left. There's two guys standing tall. David and Bikash for that ball. Meanwhile in the middle. Face some pressure uh, from the Churchill uh, defenders. Uh, Ishad moving forward. He has got that uh, ability of playing as an 
attacking player at times. We've seen him in the past. Uh, a big catch again, Sebastian. Uh, and Sebastian does well. And now Aubin. Uh, Churchill moving forward. Uh, they would want the equalizer uh, before the break. Uh, and that's a wasted opportunity. More interested in the complaints there of the Kareem uh, than uh, moving forward. Francis Bonnet not happy. And Padam Chetri just running down uh, at the clock. Uh, just a fun stat for you. Match number one, two, three on today's uh, date to one, two, three. Ah. And you have really well gathered the information and that's a real fact. <laughs> it's match one, two, three and today's date with one, two, three. And that also of the year 2024. So Joseph goes back to Padam. It seems like the ball is again with a goal scorer. Chance for Stanley. It goes over the bar. And on your screen, you can see with eight shots, Mohammedan, they have surpassed with up to seven of Churchill. And look at that attempt again from Stanley. The first time shot, uh, couldn't connect it well. But uh, another bright move uh, from Churchill brothers. Uh, but all because of a giveaway from Mohammedan Sporting. Martin Chavez. Uh, oh, it seemed like he used a hand there. And back with Mohammedan. They wouldn't mind uh, when they are in possession. And now Alexis Gomez. Uh, Eddie Hernandez uh, gets it back. Uh, he would have loved to shoot, but just checked uh, that idea. That urge to shoot. Uh, he's got such a quality right foot of his. Uh, uh, Alexis Gomez. Uh, Yes, starting Liana, very central. And now Alexis Gomez, a clever pass. Uh, it's a push, uh, but nothing given. And so then Liana, so up inside the opponent box. It seems like there was a slight push, but it was not that powerful to be given a free kick in favor of Mohammedan. Rather, it goes out for a throw in in their favor. Zodin Liana, the captain of the side. He has been quite brilliant today in the match. But the way Irshad and Joseph, they have combined in the latter minutes of the first half is really awesome to see. Because after that goal being conceded from Churchill Brothers, they have did done really well. And with 82% now, they are just going up and up in this ball position game. Mohammedan Sporting with 82% against the 18 of Churchill. Meanwhile, Padam getting some sort of particular attention on the field. Stanley's goal again for you. The first one of the game got Churchill Brothers on the lead. But then uh, Mohammedan, they staged a comeback with Eddie Hernandez. Uh, and that was the first of the two goals for Mohammed in Sporting. Eddie Hernandez uh, was at the right place. And this time, a powerful header. That bounce in front of Shubashish and just made it so difficult for him to stop it. But Eddie Hernandez, and what a quality delivery from Remsanga too. And how good a player is he, Eddie Hernandez. Mighty 11 goals being scored by these men. In the early phase, he was not looking so lethal, but now, what a form he is having. Meanwhile, this man on your screen, Padam Chetri, he has also got a lot of good experience and form in this season's I League. For some fact to be shared, in the 19 matches, including the ongoing one, Mohammedan have scored 37 goals and have conceded just 16. 
this shows the class of a champion side like them and it seems like four minutes will be added by the, by the assistant referee and as you're on your screen there's a confirmation meanwhile goes to the left Adinga looking for options Alexis they are now slowing down the game Joseph and Ishad as we are talking about how well they have combined after that since the first goal which was scored by Churchill brothers Mohamedan and that's a foul and it will go in favor of Mohamedan Bikash on this occasion a challenge from uh, behind uh, there and by Sebastian he's been with Mohamedan sporting in the past uh, and he knows uh, well about this side and Richenishov still having a, a good bit of a headache here and uh, the physio will be needed to be called upon again and hopefully all right uh, just taking his time uh, before the break just running down the clock and look at that challenge again from behind not too much in it uh, but uh, indeed a foul oh but maybe the landing the second clash is where he hurt himself more than the first one the last couple of minutes left on the clock for the shutting down of this first half Mohammedan and the think tank they will be happy as these fans will be they are the happiest ones now and why not their team are up and that also with a mighty comeback of 2-1 from 1-0 down. Joseph resumes the game, goes back to Padam. Irshad looking for options. Moving forward. Joseph, the captain. Adinga. And Mohamedan seems like they will be happy with this goal line at least till this end of first half they just don't want to concede any more and they want a free kick in every second challenge they're the fans of course uh, understandable and now rahul raju one and a half minute remaining in this uh, first half uh, orbin launching it forward uh, but uh, Kasimov has it back, or Alexis Gomez rather. And Bikash has gone down again. Uh, that is a bit of concern for Mohammedan. He's been very crucial uh, for the team. And uh, maybe uh, they'll play it out. Suddenly, uh, Anna just plays it out. And uh, uh, will they make the change uh, if needed right now itself? Uh, just a few seconds he's asking for the change uh, himself but maybe they can wait a while and make uh, the substitution at the break with a few seconds remaining or maybe they wouldn't want to take the risk but if they do it is worth it and uh, they will have a substitution break remaining and it seems like there will be a substitution because Bikash he has been struggling for the last few minutes and maybe Mohammedan <coughs> have to play with 10 men only for the remaining of this half. You never know because Andri Chernyshov might train the other as well. But at this moment, Mohammedan are up with 10 men because Bikash, he has been sidelined due to an injury. David. Adinga. Joseph trying to clear it away but the deflection gives him another throw in Adinga David showing his skills Adinga goes back to Padam Padam goes long but the flight was missed and Shubhashish will take it long 
on the opponent half. Now maybe one last chance uh, for Churchill in this half to try and get back at at least uh, a level terms. Uh, all the way back, uh, because still receiving some treatment at that far side of the pitch. Uh, uh, we'll probably wait uh, for the break to decide if they'll require a substitution. Rahul Raju, uh, switch to the right. Uh, Emmanuel Coffey just couldn't find the pass, and David's uh, first touch uh, was good, but just not aware of what was behind him. And now Rem Sanga. More of a clearance that uh, a few more seconds being allowed because of those injuries. Uh, but uh, half time at Noihati. Mohammedan from one goal down to 2 1 up. They have done half their job. It is uh, Eddie Hernandez with a brace uh, to cancel out uh, and uh, get in a better position for Mohammedan sporting Stanley Fernandez goal. For Churchill. That goal from Stanley could not give satisfaction to the coach of Churchill Brothers, Mr. Francis Bonnet Karuncho, because of that man standing tall for Mohammedan Eddie Hernandez. And with the stats of 80% ball position, Mohammedan ruling there along with the shots, quite neck to neck with 8 to 7 Mohammedan up and on shots on target as well. Another 50 50 almost. It's 4 3 in favor of Mohammedan. Fouls also at neck to neck with 3 to 4. Okay. We'll go with the shots being taken in favor of Mohammedan Sporting. AD Hernandez with three of them, two being scored. Alexis with couple. Bikash, Kashimov, and Rem Sanga with one each. Churchill brothers they had seven attempts to Stanley with three of them one converted of the Kareem Samb Emmanuel Coffey Martin Chavez uh, with an attempt each and Remruata Rualte from uh, the free kick uh, which was saved by Padam Chetri. Well a few fouls across the back four from uh, Mohammedan just him twice, Eddie Hernandez and Ishad once, uh, but more importantly, a yellow card for Ishad and just him. One good news for Mohammedan Sporting is that Samad Ali Malik is back on the bench. And three fouls from Churchill Brothers. Uh, Stanley with two. Emmanuel Coffey with one. We'll have a look at the highlights of the first half. That one man I mentioned, Samad Ali Malik, uh, he is uh, back with Mohammedan. He's on the bench today. Yes, and it seems like Samad will come in the latter half of the game. And that's the highlights of the first half. Players coming in. Mohammedan and Churchill going head to head today in the Naihati Stadium. And the kickoff being taken. And that was the early foul on Kareem. Beautiful free kick. And that was the goal being scored by Stanley. What a screamer it was from the young lad. And then Mohammedan started attacking. They tried again and again to take the opportunity and they got it just then. Eddie Hernandez with his first from a beautiful pass coming from the left half. And that header, what a way to put it on lead for Mohammedan. Giving the salute and why not? He should get it. And on the stroke of first half, we have seen enough. It's Mohammedan Sporting 2 and Churchill 1. So these was the highlights and that was the summary of the first half. We will just stay, stay tuned and we will come with the second half.
welcome back to the Naihati Stadium in Kolkata, the home of Mohammedan Sporting, who are steaming forward to that dream of the title and the promotion. It's both on the cards uh, together as uh, they have 45 more minutes to deal with uh, and make sure that they have three full points against Churchill Brothers uh, who took the lead early but then it is uh, Mohammedan and it is uh, the team who have been lethal and uh, straight away they were trying to build up an attack uh, but we'll find out what awaits in this 45. Welcome back Shayanto. Yeah, thanks Vasha. And what a glimpse of football we have seen in the early first half. Mohammedan coming from behind against the mighty Churchill. From 1-0 down to 2-1 up. And they are now high on confidence. Well, and Rihanna. In the late minutes we have already seen that Bikash, he has faced an injury. And we will see who has come in against him. Meanwhile, David trying to surpass the defenders. Though failed, but intercepted well by the Churchill ones. And that will go out for a corner kick. And David, uh, so comfortable on the ball, running forward. And that is why we always uh, say and point out time and again how he is uh, more of a proper forward. And it is... Uh, Angusana who has come on but here's Alexis Gomez uh, towards the far post Joseph rises uh, but he cannot uh, aim it back and a quick goal kick taken by Shubashish not sure who the aim was uh, it was Martin Chavez in fact his addition has made Churchill look uh, even more stronger and Joseph he's stayed up front uh, and all the way back to Shubashish And we were talking about Angusana who has just come in in place of that man Bikash. Angusana who has already appeared 15 times in this season high league and with one goal and four assists. He's all set to take the lead in this second half for Mohammedan Sporting Club. And Angusana a lot of experience is also with him as he has been a part of Trau and SC East Bengal previously in the Indian Super League as well in the era of Mr. Robbie Fowler back in the 2020-21 season so Angusana's experience will highly matter here and on your screen Dipendu Bishash, the team manager with Andrei Chernyshov they have surely directed their teammates how to approach in the second half but Churchill meanwhile they are now going with an attack but it's looked like a deflection coming from Mohammedan defenders and that will go out for a corner kick the first corner for Churchill in this half Kofi Essain he have already taken two shots though they were not on target, meanwhile with two corners, Churchill Brothers with the second one. Can they take this opportunity? It goes in, easily headed away, but a mistimed shot. Another shot coming in. Kashimov, Churchill piling up the pressure. And was that a foul? Yes, said the referee. I'm sorry, Liana pleading innocence, but Churchill Brothers have earned a penalty and he has to be careful. He might be booked especially for the reaction. It is a yellow. He knew it, but uh, well, he wouldn't go that aggressive unless he's got something on the ball. We'll see that again. Runs faster. 50-50 really, but then yeah, the referee has made his mind. It is... Uh, a penalty uh, for Churchill brothers uh, and they have a chance to get back at level terms again 
and it'll be Martin Chavez. Padam Chetri has denied Churchill once from a free kick. But this is a better range, a better opportunity. If, if we have seen the recently or the recent matches in the AFC Champions League, well, you would know how difficult it is to convert from the spot and not always the easiest tasks. Three misses for Al Nasser as they went out of the Champions League. And Martin Chavez, he would want to get Churchill back against Padam Chetri. Got a fingertip to it, but Martin Chavez has got the final laugh from the spot. 2-2, two -two, all square. And Martin Chavez shows his composure, goes to the right of the goalkeeper. Padam did well, he went to the right side. He even got some finger tips as well. But not so much that could have resisted Martin from getting that equalizer. Just look at that challenge. It seemed like a 50-51 and it belongs to the referee. And just that replay. Martin Chavez goes to the left and he scores just six minutes in the second half and we are again leveled up with two each for Mohammedan Sporting and Churchill Brothers in the Naihati Stadium, Kolkata. Both the halves starting with the Churchill Brothers uh, goal and uh, Mohammedan have to do the hard work all again. Kasimov uh, turning his man. Now just him back to Kasimov. Uh, uh, they were on the move. Uh, Mohammedan Sporting taking control. But now again, uh, they'll have to try hard. Try hard and uh, get that lead back with them. An early attack from Mohammedan Sporting. In the second half, why not? They have to be more lethal in the terms of attacking. They have done really well in the first half. But now it's time to do the same again. Because Churchill have leveled with them just in the early minutes of the second half. And our eyes will be on that man. Angusana and David in the middle. Was that a foul? The fans are up on their feet again, but this time they are protesting against the decision of the referee and we will look on it with that replay. Oh, that's a ah. clumsy challenge on David from Sebastian. He's up on his feet, David. Very strong, but the free kick has been awarded uh, uh, for a different incident there. Uh, it was Angusana after that. Uh, he was fouled. Yeah, but, uh, well, very difficult for the official too in those sort of challenges where you win the ball as well as take uh, the man off. Uh, but you need to be consistent in those decisions. Uh, uh, one which was given as a penalty, also one of them. Uh, it will always be a debate uh, uh, whether a penalty or not every time a penalty is awarded. At least uh, most of the times, apart from the clean ones, uh, where even the team giving away the penalty <laughs> would sometimes sit back and say, well... Uh, we'll try to save that. Uh, there's no meaning of complaints. But uh, Churchill racing forward. Stendley uh, measures a pass to Martin Chavez. Uh, avoids the two challenges. Uh, and an important block by Irshad. And Churchill brothers uh, have got confidence back again. And the Mohammedan think tank. They are now under a serious pressure. Because they thought of something else. But they have seen happening something different. Churchill brothers, they are now piling the pressure on the box. Numerical supremacy on the box. A high looping ball. Churchill, it comes in but def defended well by that man. Eddie Hernandez doing his defensive duties. David Ch Well, Angusana almost uh, reaching that first. Uh, but Shubashi is out of his line so well. He knows uh, when to come out. 
Solid challenge from uh, uh, Joseph. Fields contact uh, goes down. And that's not the first time. And the card will come out uh, for Sebastian. Unnecessary there. Moving on, tackle on a centre back at that uh, zone, uh, that part of the pitch. And that's the confirmation coming in. Sebastian has been shown that yellow card. The first one, rather, it seems like for the Churchill brothers on this match. Three in for Mohammedan and one for Churchill. Meanwhile, from the right, Rim Sangha tried to take it in, but again, in the middle, nice feet. And that was a clear foul on that man, Stanley Fernandez from Kashimov, just in the middle of the park. He just did well enough, Stanley, there just to turn around. Uh, Make sure Kasimov doesn't reach the ball, and that's a good decision not to bring out a card. Uh, Kasimov was going for the ball too, even though he has a, a knack of going into such challenges. But this one was uh, uh, not intentional at all. Stanley just inviting Kasimov to get that free kick. Meanwhile, Churchill brothers, now they are also looking really lethal from that left flank. Though they have got that goal from the right flank rather that penalty Alexis takes the control going forward a nice ball forward can AD take it no say it Mr. Aubin <laughs> well that's some way to say you know reaches there first uh, and uh, just slides in and here's Kasimov uh, to Angusana can slot in the defensive mid along with uh, playing an attacking role when his team needs it today it's a, a more of a defensive one to start with at least Rembruata uh, just uh, looping it forward uh, there were no goals uh, in their previous uh, meeting here uh, here in terms of this season's I league uh, this is the reverse fixture intervened by Irshad and stolen back uh, in a very dangerous position Martin Chavez uh, thought of lining one up he finally will but the angle didn't support uh, his idea what a mighty run did Martin Chavez got in Surpassing the two players who came in front of him, took the shot really well, but a bit too heavy, bit too wayward. And that new man is coming in with jersey number 26 for Churchill Brothers, Loon Min Lane. And he is up. A big boots uh, to replace Emmanuel Coffee taken off. Uh, Churchill, uh, they know their plan. They're working according to it. Uh, Remsanga is doing ever so well. Oh, he has to be careful. He's on a yellow. And up the Kareem moving forward. Awareness uh, from Mohammedan. Kareem did really well to get that corner kick on his favor. But Irshad, he has to be more cautious because he's already on a yellow. Another one could lead him back to his dressing room. <coughs> but Martin Chavez, he's up now for that corner kick. It comes in. A long lofted one, but will go out for another throw in in favor of Churchill. And look who was in there in the box. It was David Lalan Sangha doing his defensive duties. Uh, and that's what you want from uh, your striker. And not really playing as a striker today, though, but uh, his qualities are more suit uh, a striker than a midfielder. But uh, so far it has been working. 
for Mohamedan Nishal Chandan with uh, one of the longest throws uh, he has in him. And the uh, corner now, a better opportunity to deliver and Joseph has some issues there, more of a friendly exchange. Well, that's good to see from uh, the two foreign, foreign recruits, uh, Abdul Karim and Joseph. Uh, nice exchange of sporting spirit between the two veterans, two foreigners of both the teams. Another corner comes in. Chance was there, but Padam did really well. He was cautious, standing tall, and he will take all his time. Just look at the way it tried to loop in. It, it could have led to an Olympic goal as well. Good hands from Padam Chetri. Just held on to that. Didn't let it run a slip. And uh, that's uh, a mistake uh, from the Churchill backline. Stanley combining with Rahul Raju. And now Remruata. Churchill wouldn't mind the point as well here. And coming against uh, the team eyeing for the championship. And now we're shot. And we can see some real intent of moving forward now from Mohammedan Sporting because they just don't want to settle this game with one point each. They want the full points from this one, and why not? They are leading the league table and they have to get more to stabilize the situation ah nice exchange of ball from the both the players alexis and that man Rem sanga a free kick has been awarded though because of that uh, nudge from behind more of a tangle they uh, say it uh, lunmin len but uh, it is a free kick alexis gomez will deliver he has david in support who just wants to Add in some ideas, or is it uh, the substitution? Uh, David Lalansanga haven't seen that often this season. But the man who comes on it is uh, Sheikh Fayaz. Free kick at the moment from Alexis. Joseph rises. The Shubashish had it covered. Good delivery at that far side. Uh, Joseph had the height, uh, rises over Nischel. That could have done better. Already two substitutes being taken by the Andrew Chernyshov and his think tank for Mahmoudan. On the virtue of Sheikh Fayaz and Angusana Buam. Well, one, another reason to add on, sorry to cut you off, but uh, Sheikh Fayaz, uh, he has got a goal against uh, Churchill Brothers uh, in the previous uh, season of the I League, and uh, that is why maybe a bit of research done there in that substitution. Otherwise, generally, we do not see David going off at this stage. And Rembruwata with the free kick. Nischel, a free header. And no one marking him. That is surprising. And just look at the way Nischel got the better of it. But the header was not at all good. Padam doing his goalkeeping duties really well today. Oh, a slight mistake. But Shubhashish, he will get the better of it. Kashimov taking the control, but nice display of football from Churchill. Oh, Joseph, he is down. Chance for Churchill. Another mistake from Kareem on the middle of the box. He could have done well. And if he would have done well, then Churchill could have got the lead. And just look at the way Joseph, he could not balance it down so easily and Martin Chavez he did pass the ball really well 
But Kashimov doing his defensive duty so well. He managed to pass the ball back to Padam. Francis uh, Bonnet, uh, he is uh, still believing in his team and why not? Uh, they have scored two against Mohammedan, who before today had conceded only 15 goals in 18 matches. Uh, and now it is uh, up to 17. They conceded two against Gokulam as well. But there was a last uh, minute winner uh, by uh, David, who is off the pitch right now. But Stanley has an opportunity again uh, Sebastian in the box uh, the last thing they would have wanted is another penalty and now Alexis Combe is moving forward uh, Mohammedan desperate to get a goal a bit of a push but Alexis Combe is still strong on his foot uh, eventually back with Churchill Raju passes the ball to that man Stanley Ah, uh, it could lead to a danger and Mohammedan capitalizes the situation and they are now all set to dictate the ball. From left. Coming Mohammedan. Another cross comes in. Bit too heavy. And it will go out for another goal kick. Shubhashi Shirai Chaudhary. He will be happy enough. And the referee, it seems like he's warning Shubhashish for wasting some time. Already we have passed the one hour mark on this game. But it's still leveled up between Mohammedan Sporting and Churchill <coughs> Brothers with two goals each. And it has been a toxic turvy, just like a sine wave. Once. Churchill were up, then Mohammedan took the 2-1 to one lead in the match and then again Churchill coming on with Martin Chavitz penalty kick. They got the 2-2 two -two leveler. Meanwhile, Alexis trying to get in. Goes to the left, Angusana goes to left. Sheikh Fayaz, can he take a shot? No. Beautifully defended by the players of Churchill Brothers and that will go out for a throw in. A good phase of play comes to an end with that. Uh, and uh, Mohammedan now do not have a clean sheet for back to back four matches. Their last one came against Trau. Even though they've conceded less, uh, they need a few more clean sheets. Uh, The last possession before the contact. And now Alexis uh, Gomez uh, to watch Sheikh Fayaz. Uh, can you repeat uh, what he has done in past against this side? Serving Liana to Kasimov. Just him, patient build up. And Kasimov again. So much space for just him. You can find the perfect uh, cross in the box. Uh. Uh, Joseph just in the right time steps in. And Sheikh Fayaz uh, will try to take momentum to their favor. Angusana still on. But it went out of play. And that's what my first thought was. Uh. He could have gone uh, with his right, had more time than he realized. He did have a lot of time in his hand, Angusana Buam. But he chose to take the cross so early that he mistimed it. Shivashish boss. He's all set to take the goal kick. We are already on the 70th minute of the game. Falls on the feet. Adinga. The captain passes the ball. Oh, Sheikh Fayaz going for a nutmeg. The partial it was correct. Kashimov trying to take it. 
but no sit the forwards of Churchill Brothers. They are now on the attack. In the middle, Kareem goes to right, Stanley trying to pass the ball, though he missed it on the first attempt. But still, he's having that chance to the right, Kareem. Yes, he has taken the shot. Whoa, what a shot it was. But no one challenged that ball. A desperate attempt from Abdul Kareem. And someone hoping that it takes a touch on the way. It could have helped his cause. Ishat and Mohammedan have 20 more minutes to try and take the lead if they do not want to drop points. Another mistake, another giveaway. That's been the story in that back line today. Nerves. Eddie Hernandez uh, is the one who's generally taken off at this stage of the game, but maybe because he's on a hat trick and because Mohammedan need it. Hence. Uh, it is David who was sacrificed. Uh, Aubin. Sebastian. They're playing well, Churchill brothers. Uh, no questions on that. Uh, and that's a clever little passer. Uh, a dinked forward. Uh, Raul Raj just took it to an awkward angle. Making his path difficult. Uh, In the middle, Churchill Brothers looking for options, goes to the right, Martin Chavez. He goes to the left this time. And cross comes in. But that was a bit too heavy, but guided away for another corner kick by Adinga, the captain of the side. Not sure if he could have done better. Uh, teasing cross in, there was Martin Chavez and there was a, a Lundmin Len just behind uh, him waiting to pounce on had it stayed on pitch. It is uh, another corner for Churchill just stepping up the, that stat uh, and it'll be Remruata. Uh, they are eagerly waiting to see their side get a goal but it is Churchill who are having their sixth corner to three for Muhammad and a left footed in swinger. I tried to cushion it back for them. Chetri kept it in play but almost giving it. Oh it's still on. And uh, Lundmin Len will eventually be forced uh, to move away. And the referee says it is a throw in for Churchill. And high looping ball again coming in. The goalkeeper tried to take it in. But Churchill brothers did enough to get another throw in in their favor. And it seems like that man Naylor is coming in for the midfield general Kashimov who is going out with claps he moves out and he welcomes Juan Nela the young media from Argentina Churchill meanwhile Creating another attack here. Aubin, and not in his natural position. Oh, handball, but not intentional. It was anyway under his control, and the lucky escape can. And sure did touch the arm, but uh, just judging the rules at the right moment, the penalty wasn't given hence, and not much complaints too. And Williams Joyko, she did well on taking that decision of that handball of no, by not giving it because it, is, it was an unintentional one from Angusana Buam. Meanwhile, Juan Neler coming in, goes to the right, chance to take the shot, it's in! Mohamedan are up in this game. It looked like a weak one, but it was not that much weak because Mohamedan are up on this game with 3 to 2 on the virtue of Reim Sangha. The fans are happy and why not? Reim Sangha's story, the saga 
of providing assists and goals uh, when his team needs the most continues. Uh, another one added to his tally. We will see if there was a deflection. Doesn't seem any. And again, the bounce in front of Shubashi is doing the trick. Not sure if he was looking for goal, but even if not, Angusana was waiting to tap it in. And the ball possession and now makes sense again. One moment it does, the other moment it doesn't, but right now it sure holds a lot of value. And a quarter of an hour remaining in this match. Can Mohammedan hold on or maybe try to find more? But Remsanga sure has given them that hope. They should take the control of the game right now because Mohammedan Sporting, this is the second time that they have got the lead in this game and they should not drop points from here. A beautiful display of football from Rehm Sangha, but I think Shubashish could have done much better than what he has done at that point of time. Nothing to blame him anymore because he will want to forget this. He has done pretty well throughout this season, but not so much in this game. And Churchill, now they have conceded 25 goals in this season I league these are the small things that matters the most in any league meanwhile Mohammedan with their 38th goal of the season just marching past all the opponents that they have faced till now and Juan Nela who came in just a few minutes back has provided that as is so well Juan Carlos Nela combining with Alexis Gomez uh, that's a giveaway uh, there's still time for anything uh, to happen as an outcome Martin Chavez racing past Angusana look at that pace and he has the finish in him but Padam Chetri every time he makes a save he looks even more impressive to me Padam Chetri did it really well it looked tough for any goalkeeper a shot in front of him we have just seen a goal happening on the same style on the other side of the field just few times back but he did it really well he controlled the ball so well Padam Chetri meanwhile Mohammedan again on to the but it looked like a foul rather from Rehm Sangha, the goal scorer of the third goal. <laughs> well, Rehm Sangha just trying to steal a few seconds as well. Not on this one. This was uh, an intended trying to win the ball. Straight away apologizes as well to Rehm Gruada. But right after that, when Nischel came to take the ball, he was almost walking off with it. Uh, but uh, thankfully, he gave it back in time but to avoid a yellow card. Uh, referee is very strict on these uh, things lately. Aubin. He's taking his time and uh, Mohammedan wouldn't mind Churchill taking their time. And another substitution uh, seems like is ready. Uh, Takshim uh, uh, James Singh is waiting to come on. And maybe we will see uh, Remsanga sacrificed. Uh, uh, oh, that's solid from Juan Carlos uh, Nella. And now Alexis Gomez distributing it. Angosana and not uh, showing urgency at the moment, Mohammedan. And now they can afford to play a few passes amongst themselves. They will take all their time now. And why not? They have taken the lead. And it seems like Sheikh Fayaz, he's chasing the ball. Shubashi Shura Chaudhuri. He will not make a mistake this time. Churchill brothers, they have hardly 10 more minutes left of the regulation time to draw it down and take a lead. Our eyes will be on those players who are fighting, who are giving so much. Martin Chavez, Kareem goes down. Tell you what, there was a pull from behind. Uh, from Joseph, which is why Churchill are complaining. 
and that'll be so interesting to watch. Uh, Muhammadan fans do not agree, of course, or rather agree with the official. They do not agree with Churchill brothers' complaints, but uh, well, uh, they had a case. And play will be stopped. Uh, we'll have to pan to the other side of the pitch, but here's the replay. Uh, Joseph just holding on. Well, not too much. There was contact. Maybe not enough. There was a contact, but it was not that much, which could have led to a penalty. The referee was spot on with his decision. William Joy Koshi, he has been brilliant today with all his decisions that has been taken by him throughout the match. <coughs> Well, we'll wait to find who is the player who goes off uh, for Mohammedan. Uh, and suddenly Anna hurt uh, himself at the moment. Uh, Adinga, as his teammates like to call him. Uh, Fayaz just slotting in that position while uh, he's getting some treatment uh, there. Nine more minutes for another hard fought victory for Mohammedan. Churchill brothers, they are still trailing and that's the point of concern that they are having right now. Meanwhile, in the middle, Kareem goes to the right. Can they take it in? Ye a nice shot, but beat two up and it missed. Brilliant one from the new man, Loon Min Lin. Exactly. Uh, just trying to go for that ambitious attempt. And as expected, it is Rem Sangha who is taking off. And Thakchum James uh, Singh added on. Very much plays as a winger, but uh, on the team sheet, a defender as I can see. But uh, uh, maybe has that ability to just fill in both those spots. So Takshim James Singh comes on. Uh, maybe we'll not see Koslov anymore. But there's Rem Sangha's uh, goal, which has got to Mohammed in that very crucial lead. We can call it clever. We can call it uh, lucky. Uh, but uh, Mohammed will take it with all open hands. You can call it lucky, you can call it clever, but most importantly, it seems like it will be the decisive goal, the decisive moment of this match. That only gave them the lead of 3 to 2. Meanwhile, Mohammedan st still moving forward with all their pressure, all their players going up on the territory of Churchill Brothers. They are not setting back and they just don't want to defend so much. That goes out for another throw in in favor of Mohammedan. And it seems like a couple of substitutions will be coming in with Wogana and Ajit. And it seems like we will. Uh, well, so Abdul Karim and Richard Costa. Uh, the ones taken off and Louis Ugana along with uh, Ajit Kumar comes on. Shubhashish with the clearance. Uh. And suddenly Liana back on pitch. Uh. Alexis Gomez. A well-timed pass uh, but read by Remruata. Churchill will want another. That will ensure them that they at least have a point away from home. But Mohammedan would love a goal for themselves. Uh, they wouldn't uh, want to keep it for the last 5-10 uh, minutes. And Mohammedan Sporting seems like they are trying to slow down the game a bit. Because it's hardly any time left on the clock. On the regulation time, rather. Five, five and a half minutes left. 
But still, Churchill brothers, they are trying their best to take the advantage, to take that equalizer, a brilliant ball in. Churchill brothers, Joseph on the way. And he made his team survive on these occasions. Churchill brothers will get another throw in. And maybe, maybe that man, Nishal Chandan, will come with his all important long throw in which can lead to goal we have seen a lot of times teams getting goals from those long throw-ins initial chandan well, the background of that goal post would not want that to be converted but churchill will flick back and cleared away by eddie hernandez uh, as long as he possibly could And Shubhashish with the throw in and gets it back. Uh, there's no one absolutely making that press. Uh, finally, Eddie arrives. Uh, an awkward looking clearance uh, from uh, Zoring Liana. Are they going to defend for the next few minutes? Uh, not seen Mohammedan do that often uh, this season, at least. The deflection on the way of that cross. Uh, has some space to shoot. Rahul Raju launched with power but not enough precision. The power was there but the accuracy was not at all there. He should have hit on target. He missed it and maybe he'll blame himself for that. He'll curse his head on disappointment as we've seen. Padam Chetri goes for a long goal kick. Nishal Chandan. Pass the ball to that left. Ralte in the middle. Martin Chavez looking for options. Ralte to the right. Stanley headed away by the defenders of Mahmoudan. Goes to the right. Churchill brothers trying to put pressure on the defensive territory of Mohammedan. Alexis goes to the right. Eddie Hernandez. He's open for another counter attack. <laughs> He'll just slow it down because the clock is on 88 almost uh, right now. And Sheikh Fayaz, the man who came on as a substitution. Running down the right-hand channel where Rimsanga was uh, a while ago. And they need a goal through the legs of Jasim. I'm not sure he did too much wrong there. Just that the arm was up. A ah, beautiful piece of skill from Martin Chavez coming in. Meanwhile, Churchill brothers. They have to be much more accurate on their attacks. Nice ball forward. Can they take this opportunity? Churchill brothers on the box looking for options. Goes to the right. Sebastian. No one follows it. Still the chance is there. Raju goes to the right. Chance for Ajit. Defended well by Mohammed and Sporting. A few appeals for handball there in the box. Uh, and none given. Oh, but there is a runner up front. Can Mohammed spot it? And they do not want to at the moment. Just pass it around. But there is a risk uh, lying. But too much for Sheikh Fayaz uh, on that one. Sheikh Fayaz, it seems like he was not ready for that. Switch of flanks. Shivaji Shrai Chaudhary instructing his players to move forward. Ugana tried to take that opportunity and pass the ball back to his teammate. Meanwhile, Ajit looking for options down the middle. Tried to find his player, but Joseph. 
Well, we are almost approaching additional time. 30 more seconds of regulation time remaining. And we're hearing it might be just six minutes. Uh, just as in might just be six minutes and not just. It is a good amount of time. Martin Chavez uh, takes a step forward. Padam Chetri once again safe as ever. And it is six minutes the confirmation of additional time. And Martin Chavez is not happy. And Martin Chavez, how many times have we seen him coming forward and testing the goalkeeper Padam Chetri again and again? He is trying his best, but not enough to get that level. Undoubtedly, he has been brilliant in these match. Oh, a sloppy one, and that will go out for a corner kick in favor of Mohammedan, and they will take all their time. And why not? They are already in the lead by just a slight margin of 3 to 2. Good question. Why not? <laughs> and uh, maybe they can try and run down uh, the corner flag as well. Mm, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if they try and go for goal. Uh, there's no one yet to take the corner. <laughs> and uh, she was right on saying that, of course. Uh, and these fans are just waiting for celebrating another victory in this season. Their season is getting better with time a minute up uh, and they will take their time around that corner flag uh, almost sitting on it and not allowing anything and look at that battle and alexis gomez has come out better and tried to find a cross in oh but is that a giveaway because martin chavez uh, is still as fresh as he was in the first minute of the game he drives inside and now takes it outside. A delicious ball in. But more eager was Padam Chetri than Lu Yogana. Lu Yogana, he should have done better. Because Martin Chavez, the kind of effort he's putting in in this late minute of the match. That's really awesome to be seen from the captain of the side, Chubashish. He will not let his team get down so easily starts the match at the correct time meanwhile Ogana can he take it no Padam he will now take all his time already we have passed three minutes on the additional time Padam Chetri goes long but out straight to the bench that I wouldn't uh, mind a control on the bench. Uh, and another substitution for Churchill Brothers. Uh, one last roll of the dice. Three joy, Savio uh, Tyus uh, coming on. And, uh, three minutes uh, on the stage for you, young man. Uh, we'll wait and find out if he can uh, surprise everyone. Uh, Mohammed will hope not. Uh, sloppy. But Thakchum James Singh clears it. Uh, Remruata, he look to deliver. It is not a bad one, but Joseph was on the way to block it away. Nishchal not happy, could have been the winner. Or rather, the, the late settler to get them one point. Nischel, he should have done better because he got the header so well at the right time, at the right moment. Joseph was just behind him. He could not even take the advantage of the ball. The power was there, but the precision was not at all there. He have got a lot of headers today in this match. Got a number of opportunities. But could not capitalize a single time. He will be unhappy. So will be his coach. And that's a chance for Mohammedan. But guided away by Churchill defenders. It seems like they've gone to a back five Mohammedan in the last uh, 10 odd minutes. Uh, and a free kick. Hands on the shoulders. And a gift to Churchill. Or will they take it? They have 
height in plenty. Uh, they have Nischel. Uh, they have uh, Louis Ogana. The substitutes are there. But Willer, Martin Chavez surprise everyone with something different. These are direct delivery. Uh, they're appealing for handball. Nothing given. And we'll go with the replay to see if there was a hand on it. Ogana, he is directing the referee that there was a handball. Oh, very difficult to spot. Uh, but Shubashi is taking a bit of risk. Uh, Francis wanted not at all happy. They all feel it is uh, a handball. Juan Carlos Nella uh, to Alexis Gomez. Oh, Try to again. They just streak that defense. Uh, but one last chance maybe. A heavy touch from Martin Chavez. He's, he's been a one-man army at times. Uh, even though they've played a good team game today. But uh, the efforts and the hunger in his eyes to perform. Another flick. Tera Padam Chetri will collect it. Uh, can't go down as soon as he does that. Uh, six minutes towards the time added on. And we have approached almost uh, all of it ending. And Padam Chetri. Happy to give it back to Shubhashish. And we are already on the last minute, the last few moments of the match. Meanwhile, Nishal tried to put it in the box. And there goes the final whistle. It's Mohammedan Sporting fans and the teammates. They will be up on their feet. And why not? Because they have defeated the mighty Guanis Club, Churchill Brothers, by 3 to 2. On that important day, important three points for this man on your screen, A.D. Hernandez. A brace from him guided Mohamedan past this barrier of Churchill brothers. Another day, another Eddie Hernandez brace uh, as Mohamedan see a hard-fought victory against Churchill. A friendly shake of a hand between uh, Francis Bond and Andrei Chernyshov. A long one indeed. Uh, they do not agree in some things, of course, the decisions uh, uh, from the officials. But then a good gameplay from both the sides. An entertaining game comes to an end. And some friendly exchanges uh, uh, from the men from Kana, Emmanuel Coffey and Joseph Ajay. Pretty much know their languages very well, each other. And the land uh, back home. And they are performing for uh, their respective clubs very well at the moment. Uh, it is... Uh, Full time at Noihati, Mohammedan Sporting. With a 3 2 win over Churchill Brothers. And Mohammedan Sporting, with the virtue of these three points, they are now up with 44, which is a massive lead in terms of their position with the second placed Srinidhi Jaikan who are on 36 currently with one less match well of course uh, a good uh, battle here is what we have seen everyone playing their part Rem Sangha having some special contributions that Martin Chavez's efforts uh, never, never fail to disappoint. He's such a character on pitch. Uh, that match number 123 settles uh, in favor of the home side. And if we can focus on the upcoming fixtures of Mohammedan Sporting. Yeah, as we are talking about Mohammedan and their next matches. It's against Nero Count 17th and then it will be followed by the match in real Kashmir's home ground on 23rd of March. And then again they will be back in their home against Interkashi on 30th. Meanwhile, if we look with Churchill Brothers' next fixtures, it looks like they will go against Srinidhi Taken next on 24th in an away encounter. And then in the northeast, Aizol waiting for them 
on 28th and then back again on 1st of April in their home ground against Trau FC. It will be a difficult road but uh, Churchill brothers can maybe uh, do a favour to Mohammed in Sporting if they manage to steal points from Srinidhi. They are the team closest uh, to Mohammed and it will be of uh, a massive help. We will wait uh, to find out uh, what happens uh, in uh, the upcoming games. Uh, Mohammedan Sporting, uh, they have a tough road too. They have Real Kashmir uh, coming up, uh, which is a difficult uh, uh, task in hand. Uh, we'll have a look at the highlights of the game soon. And at the moment, we can all see how uh, they're all focusing back. Uh, but here is uh, the story of uh, the game. All starting with Churchill on a very bright uh, shining note uh, this was the yellow and a free kick saved by Param Chetri lucky escape that but Stanley did no mistake uh, clinical finish from outside the box uh, uh, giving them the lead that soon Muhammad had initiated uh, their comeback there was a few moments of luck of falling in favor of Churchill but suddenly Anna's cross in and uh, Eddie Hernandez tapping at home. And the wingers were continuously providing a rim. Sanga next uh, was in line to find Eddie in the box. Eddie getting his brace and after that, in the early second half, that's the moment Adinga misses it out and Martin Chavez puts it in from the right of Padam Chetri to make it 2 2 level up. Then some more crosses which came in from the side of Churchill. And then that goal from Rem Sangha coming late from the 